Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello MTV Cribs. I'm Dean Sterling and welcome to the Glenlivet Distillery, aka my dream crib. <laughs> inside let's take a look come on wow so nice of you guys to join us although the music's a little bit formal isn't it well that's just offensive that's more like it we're ready to have a look around and you guys are going to love it in fact you could say you're going to find it pretty neat Neat. I said, because whiskey, you, you, you have whiskey neat. So then I forget, forget it. So this is the lounge. And when I'm in the lounge, I like to take a minute to think of the man that started it all back in 1824, Mr. George Smith, the father of the Glenlivet whiskey. George was renowned for his hospitality. People used to always say to rich and poor, his door was always open. However, the one item he couldn't live without were these pistols. It was a different time, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, move on. Lucy, bit to the left. If you drop that, it will come out your wages, okay. Wanna see where the magic happens? And by magic, I mean distillation, the process that takes place in one of these bad boys, sorcery at its finest. Now, the one item I cannot live without is this absolute legend. He is the oracle at the Glenlivet. So Alan, I've got my spirit safe. Give me the combination, let's do this. Hold on a wee minute, we're going to collect the heart of the second distillation, yeah. crystal clear. It'll then start its maturation in the oak cask, become whiskey and have the flavours we all expect. Alan, that all sounds very neat. <laughs> See? See, it is funny. If you know whiskey, it's funny. And this is where the originality of the Glenlivet is aged and refined. Now, did you know we're in the presence of actual angels? Legend has it, when no one's around, they sneak in here and drink small amounts of the whiskey, and that's known as the angel share. Actually, Ian, it's called the angel share because a percentage of the whiskey evaporates through the wood over time. So, so angels aren't real? Obviously, I knew that. There's no such thing as angels. Just goes for the wood. And this is the drawing room where I like to come to kick back and relax, and Karis likes to get creative with a few rare Glen Livets. Oh, do you want to see what's in my fridge? Come on. Cocktail capsules. Are they drinkable? Are they edible? Are they both? Come on, what were you expecting? Vegan ravioli and sparkling water? Not on my watch. Right, I've got one more room to show you. This is the tasting room where I get to sample the fruits of other people's labour because the Glenlivet Distillery team aren't just the custodians of a safeguarded legacy dating back almost two centuries, oh no. They aren't just experts that have dedicated their lives to mastering their craft, oh no. They are innovators in flavour, pioneers. Sweet pear, vanilla, blossom honey. That alchemy creates true originality. And that, I, honestly, do you do that sort of thing in other people's cribs? Un, unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, that was the Glenlivet crib. It was so nice having you all, except for you. Okay, well, 
see yourselves out because I'm actually needed back in the testing room. Bye bye. Tell them it's £13 for a selfie.